Hello fellow reefers, this is the next episode in the series of building the cheapest nano reef tank possible. Diggs, puppy, do you like cheap reef tanks? Yeah? If you like cheap reef tanks, give me five. Yeah, he likes cheap reef tanks. Uh, what are we doing? We are testing ammonia. Ammonia, why are we testing ammonia? Do we have any? Oh, sorry, uh, so far no. I'm doing nitrate right now. So we're gonna test the water as T is testing it. We'll just uh, take a look at the tank. It is looking pretty yellow. I don't know if the camera's picking up this color. Starting to see some algae coming through, which is a good sign. Glass is getting hazed over with algae. Algae in the beginning of a reef tank is very normal. You wanna see algae. We're leaving this light on nine hours a day. Uh, I think we're gonna change the carbon today because it's looking pretty, it was crystal clear. And it's, it's looking clear on the camera, but in person, oh, you can kind of see a little bit there. It's starting to haze over again. But um, eventually, yeah, this should all go nice and purple and dark, just like this piece of live rock we added. But algae is definitely a good sign. It means we're on the right track. Uh, we might add some cleanup for today. Let's see what happens with the tests, how the water comes back. So we're gonna look at ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, still kind of boring. Um, this is how it goes. Okay, while Tia is testing the water of the cheapest nano, I just want to show you we got him some beautiful peppermint shrimp and they're much bigger than usual. These are like full grown adults, two inches. They're really chunky and fat and well fed and if you're dealing with any Aptasia issues, these are the type that eat Aptasia. So this may be your solution. Just wanted to show you guys what nice happy peppermints look like. In other news, this yellow tang has shot up from $100 to $500 literally overnight. Overnight, this fish has become very, very expensive. If you um, follow any of the reefing news out there, Hawaii has stopped allowing the export of live tropical fish, which is very bad for the hobby, maybe good for the oceans. I'm not really sure because you're still allowed to eat fish off the reef, which doesn't make any sense. But yeah, it's kind of interesting how legislation and rules changes the price of stuff in this hobby. So yeah, this is a quite an expensive and soon to be rare fish in the industry. So some good news. We have no more ammonia. We have no more nitrite and we have some nitrate. So that's a good sign. It means that there's some bacteria present in the tank and that it's most likely cycled. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of our first livestock. This is really exciting. Catch it, fruit. grab it, okay. whatever you want. Okay, we're gonna do uh, what, 10 clownfish? <laughs> yeah, 10 clownfish. Now we're gonna do this little neon goby right there. I don't see him. Oh, he's so small. Yeah. Catch him to you. <laughs> he's really small. Yeah. Get him. Get him? Yeah, you got him. Let me see him. Just for the camera. Yeah, he's really small. Can hardly see him. Okay, toss him in. Yeah. Hi, fishy. So. Just, oh, straight. just over three weeks. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, and let's do some cleanup crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's so small. So that is a neon goby, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. What are we adding here? We have that? one polka dot hermit crab. Nice. These are my favorite little hermit crabs. Uh, one Nasiri snail, th uh, three astria, and then one tro banded trochus. So what goes first, fish, cleanup crew? Uh, it depends on what the tank looks like. I usually think fish and easy corals are fine at the same time. Yeah, this might be a little too much cleanup crew because there really isn't that much, much um, algae in the tank. But now that we have a fish, we can start feeding and then we expect to see um, some algae start growing. But we'll keep an eye on them. Hermie. Hermie. Hermie, go live your life. Enjoy your new home. Paul Sanzinia? Yeah. Is there anything easier? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah, so we're gonna take here. one without um, a plug on it. Is it loose? Yeah. It's, oh, it's, some rubble. it's attached to rubble. Yeah. It'll look nicer. Maybe. Bulk Reef Supply, shout out to you guys. Awesome new glue. We're trying their uh, super glue thick extra gel just to try something new. So far, it's pretty cool. Good stuff. So we're gonna use this. On this little rock here, because if he starts growing, we can cut him. It's a loose rock. That's a great idea, yeah. Xenia is one of those corals you want to, um, you can isolate it, put it on a rock that's really easy to move, because when it starts to grow, there's no stopping this sucker. 
Good. Enough to cover all the little rocks that are on the spray, but you don't need that much. You don't use gloves, huh? No, it gets everywhere. So I'm putting him in a lower flow area. He's going to pulse more. Yeah, first corals. Should we do something else? Yeah. Let's GSP. do more. GSP. Second fastest growing coral in the world. Actually, maybe Titan is in you know? I don't know which one's faster. They're both growing Depends on but the system. Depends on the tank. And then I'm going to show you also. Show. Yes, great idea. Oh, there's the uh, stems are annoying. Yeah. Snap it. So, oh, you do it funny. Nice, easy. That's it. But that's way easier to glue. GSP is kind of cool. You can usually peel it off. Really easy. Like yeah. Nice. Where are we sticking it? I think on the front of this little rock too. Por um, same story as the Xenia. Por qué? Same story as the Xenia, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't take over too much. Such a small tank. I guess it could take over pretty easy. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. How much glue you stick in? I'm going to try to get all the edges down, but it doesn't really matter for this one. It's going to grow. And then how do we know if we did a good job? Hmm? How do we know if we did a good job? Doesn't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start lower and give it space to grow up. Oop. Nice. I'm also excited for this light. Watch them grow? To, well, to see if it's any good. Like, the par readings in the last video were good. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to see how it actually performs. I think it's good. Seems okay. It's growing algae. Okay, while that is sticking, I'll just quickly talk to you about... We're going to change the filter out in the back. We're going to go with this filter floss here from Sephora. I really like this stuff. Easy to use. Swap it out and we're going to change the carbon that's in the back chamber to this excellent stuff from Boyd, Kemi Pure Elite. So that's going to be pretty basic filtration. We've got our mechanical, we have our carbon, and then we have the rock in the tank as our biofilter. Yeah, it looks good. That's it. First cleanup crew members, first fish, first corals, the Xenia, and the GSP. I think that's it for this video. It's coming along nicely. Every Sunday, I know it's not Sunday, we're a little bit busy this weekend, but we're going to try every Sunday to do an update on the cheapest nano reef possible. Um, next thing we're going to add to this thing, it's probably going to be an ATO, huh? For sure. Yeah, maybe we'll do the it's cheapest. We'll stick with, butt. it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, it is evaporating quite a bit. And that's very important on the small tank to control salinity. Yeah, you want to keep up with the, um, with the evaporation. But yeah, contact information at the end of the video as usual. Hit us up if you guys got any questions at all. This is Fragbox TV.